Okay, Dad, uh, we're just gonna answer, I'm gonna need you to answer some questions about COVID-19, okay, the coronavirus, because... Is this thing on? Testing? One, two, three? Yeah, yes, the, <laughs> the mic is on, Dad. Fantastic. Okay, so, first question, how and when did you first hear about the coronavirus? The coronavirus, well, we certainly heard news of it in January. Mm-hmm. To my understanding, uh, the first outbreak, or the first reported cases, yes. happened um, in late December, but I do remember reading a lot about it, or hearing a lot about it in social media. Late January, I guess, Chinese New Year, there was a lot of reports of a new virus called uh, COVID-19, which stands for the coronavirus, founded yeah. in 2019. All right, so clearly we underestimated it a significant bit. Yes. Um, so how has the coronavirus affected your work and home life? Um, you know, physically, um, certainly being um, sheltered at home or having to stay at home, um, you know, with my children. Um, that is a new world that we're living in now, social distancing, the, the importance of you know, staying away from large clusters of people, no more than 10 people or more. Uh, that has been a tough adjustment to make, um, but we're making the best of it. Okay, um, thank you. So there's this quote uh, oh, coming around about Corona calling flatten the curve. How are you going to help flatten the curve? Yeah, well, well flattening the curve is certainly the objective uh, of what um, we're trying to do to prevent... Um, this disease, this virus, from spreading um, faster than than we can control it in this country. So that's the objective. The strategy is what I mentioned earlier in terms of social distancing, um, and that is um, not again congregating in large areas so that um, people cannot easily transfer the virus to, from one to the other either by coughing on someone or some kind of uh, contact uh, between uh, people in close proximity. So again, uh, the objective is to you know, flatten the curve, which means not having the disease spread so fast um, that our health care community can't control it. Um, if it can be... Uh, tapered over time and give our health care community uh, the chance to fight it, that's that's the best um, possible result we can have right now. Alright, how long do you predict that we're going to be in this quarantine for? Studies so say around three weeks. How, what do you say? No, I think all our initial thoughts were um, uh, initial. Um, I think they were best case scenarios, three weeks. I think you have to start looking at where Asia is now. So luckily, uh, we are in mid-March. And again, I believe it's at, uh, the first case has started at the end of December. So that is, you know, January, February, March, so three months in which they've been dealing with it. And we've been dealing it here in the U.S., you know, for a matter of weeks. So the good news now is that um, China, specifically, and a lot of places in Asia, they seem to be on the other end of it. Businesses are starting to open up, but by no means are, are is everything fine out there. But that's after three months. So I think we're looking at two or three months, you know, ideally, at best, um, the same trajectory, where we have to, again, flatten the curve. We have to continue our social distancing. I think in this country that would take at least two or three months before we are in a place of control. Okay, final question. Considering the coronavirus has spread to a lot of people, is there a certain family member, associate, or other person in general that has coronavirus that you are concerned for? Uh, no. Uh, very luckily, but, um, you know, right now, um, any quarantine, any, um, any you know, stays at home, uh, has been voluntary. Uh, my parents out in Arizona, 
have a cousin in town who was in a hospital uh, where a case was founded and they're self-quarantining for two weeks. They have not been uh, found with the coronavirus. I have a, a cousin who is in the medical profession whose hospital has a few positive cases, but he has not been... Um, he has been tested, but he has not been uh, diagnosed with the coronavirus. So that's that's good. Uh, my wife, your mother, is is in the, is in is a nurse practitioner, um, but she has not been uh, found to have the coronavirus. But I think, um, while it's true, we have no one in our media circle who has been tested and found uh, with the coronavirus. The the problem is testing in general. Um, there has not been enough tests out there. Um, we have not been tested fully uh, as a family, and I think a lot of families are going to find when testing uh, gets more widespread that more and more people will have it. Uh, the issue is how can we recover from it uh, when we do find out we do have it? You know, what are the next steps there? Some people who are healthy seem to be able to combat it well enough, and some people who are unhealthy when they receive the virus um, that just exasperates that situation. So, um, luckily, right now, to answer your question, we have no one who has tested positive, um, but we have not had a lot of people who were tested in general, and testing um, is the big issue right now. Yeah, um, that's going to be it. I'm still a bit concerned about the corona, but I'm sure we can handle it. Yeah, thanks, Dad. Thank you. I just want to leave you with one uh, great um, post that I got from a friend of mine mm -hmm. whose mother mm -hmm. said something fantastic uh, in the sense that she wishes that when we all get back together uh, either in this country or as a community at large that we do better together that we fight less that we do more good because right now it's very painful uh, when we're all apart mm -hmm. so I leave that with you thank you thank you